people, people, people. All right, got interrupted earlier doing this video, gonna start over. Hello to my new viewers, to my old viewers. Yes, I know it's been a long time, but I was watching YouTube not too long ago, and I said, as soon as I get a camera, this is the first video I'm doing. I'm doing a polo response video to someone that will remain nameless, but he been had polo, just to give you a hint. And I looked at that and I said, dang, I need to put up one of mine, you know, my polo collection. And I'm not doing this video to stomp on nobody, you know, or to say, look what I got, you know, you ain't got nothing. Because I, I did see some responses that were like that, but that's not my style. I just thought it would be cute and fun to put my collection up. So that's what I'm doing, okay? But... To be honest, I did look at his collection and think, what he talking about, he been here polo, he didn't really have, to me, a variety. Like, I like what he had, but he didn't have, like, a variety. He didn't have vintage pieces. He didn't have just some things I think you should have to be able to make the statement that you really have polo and that you're a polo king or polo queen or whatever. Um, I'm going to start showing my collection. I'm not going to talk that much because it's so much. It took me so long. To pull out all this stuff, y'all, it took me so long. But anyway, before I do start, I do want to say I'm not one of those people that feels like you got to wear it a certain way or you must do it like this or like that. Like, if you're a low lifer, good. If you're a new polo fan and you just had more of the new stuff, good. Like, I don't care, you know. I'm not one of them people that be like, oh, you ain't wearing it right. You got to have this. You got to have that. You got to wear it. I don't care. But I'm going to do me. Okay? So this is my collection. Now, I'm just going to show the clothes. It took me so long to get... Uh, oh, some of y'all put in the comments that some of these people's stuff is fake that they're showing. None of my stuff fake. Ain't not, not a fake in a bunch. You know, I don't do fakes. For polo... You can always find it on clearance even if you can't afford it, you know, regular price. Anyway, let me start showing because I'm not going to talk that much. This is RLX. This is a new sport collection that replaced Polo Sport for y'all that don't know. You know, I'm just going to hold up stuff. It's so much, I don't even know if I'll get through it. Through it all. And I hope y'all can see because I really don't have a camera person. And I hate that. This is real. I'm just showing y'all because I don't do tapes, okay? But... I'm going to tell y'all something. I'm not a person that really, you know, gets the solid polos too much. I have some, but I like to get pieces that are kind of different. You know, this is one of my favorite jackets that I wear all the time in fall and winter. It's got little leather accents. And, I mean, I have, I'm a real collector. So, I have books. I have This is the damn made-to-order book. This is from fall 2007 that shows you the different... I got this from the store in Linux. I hope y'all can see this. No, it ain't a a damn mosquito on the, th on the camcorder. But, man, I got magazines. I mean, when I say I'm a real collector, I'm a real collector. Like, <laughs> I ordered these online. I bought them when they came out in the store. I don't play. That's a lookbook for Black Label. I mean, when you say you've been had polo, you got to have stuff that's different. But I'll save the accessories for later. <sighs> got this. This is the collector's book. I'm not going to open it, but this is the collector's book that came out not too long ago. I picked that up. Oh, and let me address something. I'm going to show y'all my belts. But while I'm getting my belts, let me address something. How stupid is it in these comments that I read? These are belts. All these polo. You know. These comments, some of these comments are dumb. Okay. On these other polo videos. People be going around talking about, oh, you got that on clearance or on sale. This is a little tote bag I got, you know. Hell yeah, I got it on clearance and sale. Some of it. I mean, who does that? How stupid does that sound like? <laughs> This polo jeans, I know I'm breaking in and out of conversation because I want to explain some stuff. This is polo jeans. This is pretty old right here. I've had this for a while. But I be looking like at them comments like, 
Hell yeah, I got it on clearance. Like, now some of this I bought full price, some of it I got on clearance. But who goes around saying, I'm going to buy this on full price even though I know it's going to go on sale? Who does it? That's dumb. This is Polo Go. Don't have no markings. I just like, you know, how it fit up. Whew, it's a lot of stuff, y'all. I don't know how many minutes I'm at, but, you know, I don't know. I hope you can see all this stuff. Y'all, this is, <laughs> this is my cat's toy right there. It got caught up in the mix. But, y'all, I mean, now I don't really like chaps. My mother brought me this, like, in middle school or high school. But, bless her heart, I don't like chaps at all. But, it's okay. It was done out of love. So my stuff really is in iron. That first set of stuff I showed y'all. Because I iron my stuff as I need it. This is one of my few solid polo t um, polo shirts. Cause this is a western shirt. You know. I hope this video comes out alright. Because like I said, I can't even see what I'm filming. So I'm hoping that I'm getting everything. There's stuff that I know this ain't my whole collection, you know. Cause I'm like, this this can't be it. But I, I saw this other guy's video. This is a shirt. The sleeves are in, but you get the point. It's long a little long sleeve shirt. This is one of my favorites. With the zipper. I saw this dude's video. I was like, man, you ain't been had I mean, <laughs> let me not be negative because you know I don't want to be negative y'all okay let me show you that because again ain't nothing fake here okay but again I was trying not to be negative but I said God I gotta do a response video you know and here's my response video and some other people did some really good response but I like some of y'all stuff but the thing about me I'm not going to buy something just because it's Polo or Ralph Lauren. And just because it has a pony on it. Not a horse, a pony. Okay, I heard some of y'all say a horse. I mean, that's okay. If that's what you want to call it, you know what? I'm going to have to put my cat in the back, y'all. Hold on. <laughs> She's doing too many things. But anyway, if y'all want to call it a horse, you know, that's fine, but. I mean, I really should have got it more straight before I showed y'all, but so much of it. This is from his active line. That's another little shirt. Polo shirt. But back to that clearance thing. I read some of those comments on some of the po other polo videos. And I was like... They were, you know, dissing people and talking about them because they bought stuff on clearance. I'm like, who, like, who, and let's say you have a polo shirt that's 150 and you get it for 50 I mean, wouldn't you rather get it for $50 than to pay 150 for? Like, who, first of all, who's going to know unless you tell them? But this is a little Hawaiian shirt. Mm. Another Hawaiian shirt. I used to collect Hawaiian shirts. I don't anymore. But, you know, I used to. <sighs> I don't know if we're going to get through this, y'all. YouTube just gave me the right to do... Oh, that's inside out. YouTube just gave me the right to do more than 15 minutes. Thank God. Because I think this is going to take way more than 15 minutes. Mm. Oh, this is one of my favorites right here. I wish it was iron so y'all can see how good it really looks. See? My cat's carrying on a fool in there. But anyway. Yeah, y'all. I just had to show you my collection. For all my regular viewers, I got this camera. It's not mine. Okay. Like I said, I wait for a sale. Yes, I'm cheap. I have money, but I'm cheap. <laughs> so.
So I don't want to go across the street to Best Buy and buy a, a HD camera when I have friends that can get the hook up, you know, and get it for less. This is Polo Gall. I like that. But yeah, guys, if you are interested in collecting Polo, don't be ashamed to get stuff on sale. Do you have to tell everybody? No, you don't. But don't be like some of these people I've seen talking about, oh, he probably bought most of that stuff on sale or she got that on clearance. Duh. Like, I mean, it's okay not to. Yeah, that's real nice right there. I like how, That's one thing I like about Ralph. He got good details. The leather accents right here. And then, where's the other one? That. And I hope y'all can see this. If this video turns out for me, I'm sorry I didn't have a camera person. I can't help that. You know, don't be ashamed to get stuff on sale. It's okay. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Only a fool going around talking about they paid full price for something they could have waited until they went on sale. I mean, let me rephrase that. Only a fool says that I don't do clearance rack. I only buy stuff when it's full price. Like, that sounds stupid to me. Unless you just like Bill Gates or something. This is super old right here. And I mean... Truly speaking, these are some shorts, which, like I said, I didn't feel like ironing this stuff, so just deal with it. Truthfully speaking, a lot of those people are very frugal with their money, and that's why they got where they're at. They didn't go out and ball out, you know. Some of it I didn't, you know. And like I said, I like unique pieces that you're going to see other people with. Like, I haven't really seen a lot of people with polos like this in their collection. Like, with the pony, but it's got designs. Like, it's got a little Africa motif going on. I like stuff like that. It makes you stand out. These I just got the other day. Denim and Supply. This is new, new line. A little T. This is another T. <sighs> Y'all, I'm tired. I am tired. I haven't worn this yet. This is dental supply. Shirts were like ten dollars a piece. Yes, they were. And when I dressed them up. I dressed them up like I paid $34, which I believe was the original price. And I'm not ashamed when people ask me how much I pay, you know, my friends or whatever, I tell them. Some of this, again, I, I found at the outlets, um, Ralph Lauren store in Lenox, in it, here in Atlanta, on clearance, wherever. My friend gave me this. This would. He bought this for some holiday, I forget. But I love, love, love this shirt. I love this shirt. When I tell you I love this shirt, boom. Because the stitching is like the stitching isn't rough. It's real soft. I found this at the outlet. Oh, I love it. So... We not even halfway through yet, y'all, I don't think. I may include some photos at the end of some of the other stuff. And I don't think I'm even halfway through. This is inside out, but it's the same on the other side. It's RLX. Love this shirt, too. This is very nice. Very vivid. I don't have fancy snappy comments like the other people do in their videos. I'm just keeping it real. No need to floss, no need to flaunt. I mean, let it speak for itself, you know? Something. Oh, I'm not done yet. Lord. Ugh. This is one of the older tags right here. Um, if you know anything about polo.
Y'all, it's late. I'm tired. That's why I'm not all crunk. It's 12, 18 a.m. You don't see that tag too much anymore. That's one of the older ones. And when I go work out, this is what I wear. Seriously. Friend got me this from his active, that's from his new active line. Like I said, this replaced Polo Sport again for y'all that don't know. Some shorts. Now this is dirty. I wore this today when I went to the gym, so this is my favorite little some of these shorts. This is a top, workout top, you know, RLX. Kind of fade out because I wear it so much. Sweaters. It's a nice silk two, two button shirt. So when you go come on and say, you know, that you're a polo king or polo queen, come correct. You know, I'm not saying I got everything, but damn. You know, go look at the person video I'm talking about. Just type in Ben Hat Polo. This gotta be dry clean, but this is one of my favorites. Y'all, I found this. I was so happy. Yes, this is real. This is not fake. I love, love, love this shirt. That was online. This is my favorite sweater out of the whole group. like all black patchwork with the buttons right there. Ralph, he got this thing for detail and I love it. See that? I love it. What else? What am I missing? Accessories. Pocket square. You know, uh, when, when I dress up or whatever, if I want a little pocket square, this is what I get. I haven't worn these yet, but they little armbands. And again, I hope y'all can see this plate. Oh yes, yeah, plate. I didn't pull out the set cup. <laughs> I said I'm a, I collect, but let me let y'all know something. I only collect if it looks good to me. I need to dust these off with the lint thing. I know it's not winter right now, so. I don't buy something just cause it has a pony or just cause it's polo. It's gotta look decent. And fit me what I like. That's his active line, RLX. I love this hat. My little fisherman hat. Hat. This matches those swim shorts I showed y'all earlier with the bird on the front. Beach towel. Found these at the outlet. I don't use these. I just kind of keep them. There's another one. This one I use. I want to point out something. I know I got a little excited. If you follow his line, this is an actual shirt. A lot of stuff that Polo Bear used to wear, they actually sold it. This is an actual shirt. I wanted this shirt so bad. But anyway, it's out of production right now. So I'm messed out of luck. Another beach towel. Bear. Oh, yes. I'm very serious. Oh, I got shoes, too, and jackets coming up next. Don't go nowhere. Bear. This is Ralph Lauren 1997. Bear. Another bear. This is the 05 bear. Another bear. I'll put a picture up, okay? Um, dang. What else? Panama hat. I've had this hat so long, it's straw, it's polo golf. I've had it so long, I had it since high school. They give you, I, I graduated in 2001, okay? In 2001, I turned 18. So it gives you an idea how old this is. Do the math, I ain't going to say nothing. Sandals. This is rugby. I don't know if y'all know Ralph Moore rugby, but I order these online. Rugby. They're pretty old, but I try to keep my stuff up, you know. These boots.
Don't go nowhere, like I said, because I'm not even done yet. I hope y'all can see these. If you cannot, I apologize. If there are any bad spots, I'll retake. I saw some people had a whole lot of shoes, you know, from Polo. But to be honest with you, I don't like all the shoes he makes. Like sometimes he come out with shoes, I'll be like, they be they cute, but it's like I could see it being a shoe where everybody has that pair, and I do not want that. I try to buy the things that look pretty unique, you know, that you might only see a couple people with. So let me tell you, we need to clean these up. How they get dirty like that? When did I wear these? Oh no, I can't show these on camera. Hold up. I'll show this one on camera. Boom. <laughs> I don't like dirty stuff, y'all. That's nasty. I am. I'm hot and I'm ready to be done. Like, when I first saw this, I said, ooh, that'll be fun. Tell I'm so hot. I want to turn on the air, but I'm afraid it might make too much noise. I don't buy polo boots too much because people have them. You know, everybody has. Like, if I do buy a pair, I try making something different. Okay, hold on. Let me get my jacket. These are just three jackets. I have more, but they're downstairs, and I ain't going to get them tonight, okay? <laughs> but these are my best, I think. This, this sucker is old right here. Polo jeans. I love this, this jacket right here. This is one of my favorites. It's light. You can dress it up, dress it down. You know, it's got the, the RL on the back, which coincidentally are my initials. Now, here's something I haven't seen anybody with in any polo collection. This is purple label. Yes, this is mine. I got this during high school. And I found a deal on it. And when I say a deal, I mean a deal. Yes, it is real. Hold up. For the naysayers. I'm sorry I have to get, I, this seems stupid, but I don't want nobody making no dumb, stupid comments. This is real. Okay? This is purple label. See that? Anyway, kind of like a little doctor's coat, almost. These buttons, 100% worn. This is a nice jacket. I love it. Purple label, it's expensive. But it's really well made. I'm not going to tell you how much I paid for any of this because that's tacky. You know, but I mean, the little t-shirts is one thing. But, you know, I'm not going to talk, talk about purple label. And stuff. I love this too. This is my, is this my last piece? Yeah, this is my last piece, y'all. I'm trying to figure out where my bear is. There's another bear with a red sweater that I couldn't find. Anyway, this is a belt. Y'all, they gave me the hair. Or I took it. I can't remember whether they gave it to me or whether I took it. Anyway, this is Polo Gray Suede. Um, I really like it. And it's a nice jacket. It's my last piece. Leave ratings, comments, watch my other videos, my other... Uh, tutorials i really don't have any other polo collection videos i might do some more later as i collect more but um and i just said i was hot right but anyway um to all my regular viewers stay tuned and if i get any new subscribers thank y'all for subscribing you know you got any questions put them down in the comments area oh do i sell some of my stuff yes i do I had a lot more polo than this, but I sold a whole lot of it. In fact, it, and the clothes part is over. If y'all just want to see that, go ahead and exit. But anyway, I used to have the books. I'm so serious a collector. I had the books that Ricky Lauren, his wife, wrote. Um, I had My Island. I had her cookbook. What's that other book I had? She has My Island, the cookbook, um, Safari. And she came out with one about the Hamptons. And anytime she come out with a book, it always goes up in price. But I hit a little hard times 
and I had to sell that and some of my other stuff. I had so much other stuff, it was ridiculous. Some of it I get away, give it away when I get tired of it or um, if it gets old, you know, and I get tired of wearing it, I might sell it or give it away to a friend or something. But yeah, if you're interested in anything you just saw, let me know. You never know. I might sell it to you. I mean, I don't know. Sometimes I get tired of wearing things. So, but I always keep my stuff nice so you can bet it's, it's, pr it's in good condition. But anyway, thank y'all for watching. I don't know what the hell my cat just did behind that door, but I'm going to go see because I heard a loud thud, and I'll catch y'all later. <laughs>